Hey everybody. Okay, so this uh, bite-sized lesson is going to cover microstructure. Um, it's going to be a number of bite-sized lessons that will bring all of our concepts and all of our confluences together. Um, and, and this is one of them. Okay, so let's jump in. We're going to do the, uh, the theory first, and then we're going to take a look at the charts, the practical. Okay, microstructure. Why is microstructure useful? Helps us to identify potential reversal points in the market much sooner than higher time frames. Allows us to get in closer to our invalidation and increase our yield, which is for the uh, for the younger ones the risk reward. Okay, <laughs> confluences our entire trade ideas. How to identify microstructure? So, microstructure is uh, much different to market structure. Well, I say that's not true. That's not true at all, actually. It's different in the sense that um, generally micro market structure is uh, you're looking for it on higher time frames, H1, H4, daily, weekly, monthly. Okay. Microstructure is when we we zooming right in to the uh, you know the the inner workings of the chart down to the M5 time frame. My optimal time frame to use this is M5. Okay, I find that to be very reliable for for how I use it anyway. This is this is a very personal thing. Anybody else that uses it anywhere else in the world, um, if, because of course I didn't invent it, um, but. Uh, you know, maybe maybe they use it on the M3, the M4, the M1. I, I don't know, okay. But for me, I like to identify it on the M5. I feel like um, when you do get the impulsive move that breaks the structure, I feel like it's very um, consistently uh, correct, okay. Ideally, we look for a key high low to be taken, which comes in the form of session high low or previous day high low or previous week high low, okay. High that created the low or low that created the high gets broken, which creates an imbalance. So what do I mean by creates an imbalance? Well, of course, we know in the market we have buyers and sellers. Okay. What you'll see is um, bullish structure will be uh, there's an imbalance of buyers and sellers in favor of the, 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 the buyers. Okay. There's more buyers than there are sellers, hence the uptrend, hence the bullish market structure. And the same inverse, but we're looking for we're looking for the tiny little shifts that are happening down on the lower time frames um, before trends begin. Okay, so let's take a look at the chart. Okay, so just to refresh your memory, you know what bullish market structure is, don't you? So you have high, higher low, high high, uh, higher low, etc., etc. Bearish market structure, high, low. Lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. Okay, we know that. What we're looking for is, uh, let's imagine the drawing I'm now going to draw is uh, a, let's say it is, uh, this is a trading day. Okay, so let's, let's say this is a trading day. Within here, we have a trading day. Okay, and this is price. Price does this, goes up early, chops around, creates a high, drops down, and then ends the day there. Okay, so this was the range that price created on, let's say, a Wednesday. Okay, what you have is you have a key high formed and a key low formed. Okay, we uh, many, many, many of our concepts. So, so uh, this is a. This could be a Wednesday. This could be a an entire trading week within these two um, vertical lines. Okay, but for this example, we're just going to say it is a trading day. Okay, so this this trading day is Wednesday. So we have a high formed and a low formed. Oh. There we go. Okay, so you know, for those of you who have watched many of the market reviews or many of the um, live trading sessions, 
generally speaking we are looking to you know Thursday when Thursday opens over here we're looking to trade into either a low or we're targeting a previous day's high okay we're targeting much of our strategies and concepts and, and trading systems are built on upon targeting previous day previous week previous Monday Monday liquidity previous months highs etc 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 okay now using our example okay and going back to our rules okay ideally we look for a key high low to be taken which comes in the form of session previous day previous week okay we've closed the day down here okay where is the key high or low key high key low okay so what we want to see is price drive in takes out any longs that have you know brought the stops up previous days any orders that are resting here overnight okay they get taken out early in the Tokyo session okay and then we want to see an impulsive move away okay so if you come back to our rule we're looking for the high that created the low to get broken and that creates the imbalance okay so in this example here this would be the high that creates the low we want to see price do this okay breaking the structure essentially high low higher high much like on our bullish um, market structure okay so this then helps us to potentially identify that we formed the low so if we come back to our rules helps us to identify potential reversal points in the market much sooner than the higher time frames allows us to get in closer to our invalidation increase our yield confluences our entire trade ideas nothing's perfect it's very very important to know that nothing is perfect okay it can fail but when we see the the the, the impulsive move that breaks the high that took out the orders the potential of a low being formed here is significantly increased we can then take trades off the um, the prior high so we can set a limit order if we want to uh, risk at the low and hope for a retest and I hope for a, 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 the market to trend away okay um, today's lesson is not about going over the trade ideas and the entry triggers because obviously there's many other things that we need to bring in together uh, you know, we we cannot sing, we cannot just trade for, for microstructure. There needs to be, you know, we need to be following underlying trends. We need to be, um, you know, above or below weekly intraweek mid ranges, uh, whether we're in the Monday range or, or the, the weekly high low, the previous week high low, above the monthly open, weekly open. We ha we need to have many many factors of confluence before we can just. But what we're looking for is for this to happen in confluence with many of many of our other ideas okay so let's take a look at an example that happened this week so we're on the m5 okay so let's take a look at let's take a look at the daily on on aussie yen okay so in your opinion what is the underlying trend okay up isn't it yeah market structure boom high higher high higher low higher high higher low high 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 low high high okay yeah so the underlying trend is up uh, the monthly open comes in uh, somewhere over here uh, I don't know I don't know not not that important to us but we're we, we're close enough we're around it we have other factors of confluence generally speaking when the market opened for the week um, we were looking for um, reasons to go long okay um, so if we can come back to Monday's open you can see what happened over here okay so last week we had so we have Monday's open uh, the weekly open is, is down here okay this is the Monday the Monday trading session is here but what happened on the Friday's trading session so we had the high formed okay key high And then we had a low formed okay 
that doesn't tell us much, does it? It doesn't tell us much at all so far. We had that was the previous Friday's range. Market moved away and trended away. Why? Why? Let's drop it down and have a look. Okay. So you can see now we have our trading day, which was Friday. What can you see? What what happened? What actually happened is the low was formed very, very late on in the session. The the weekly open came in just just around here okay the, the Monday Monday opened there okay but the previous candle just before spiked down into the session if you go back to our uh, in the form of session high lows so if you look at New York New York opens around around there for me okay that's New York okay New York opens creates a low comes back creates two lows so in the New York session okay we created these these two lows which which got taken okay so the market drives in excuse me the market drives into the price let's get rid of that for the moment there's a weekly open okay late on in the session just before the weekend is um, uh, upon us the market is dropped into New York's low create a new low okay now going back to our rules high that created the low where was the swing the swing wasn't the full day was it there's you know because there's there's a swing there there's a swing there yeah Swing there, 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 swing there. Okay, so the high that created the low is actually here because this is the swing. Okay, so here you have the high that creates the low. High that created the low. Once that gets broken, it creates the imbalance. What does price do? hits into the orders the rest in orders comes back on monday morning in tokyo or well, tokyo is not open yet but it will be in, a, in an hour or two uh, this is the australian session boom that is a break in the structure okay price is trading above and it's closing candles above it's been accepted above the previous high that created a low at a key as swing point okay so now uh, we have an imbalance in price we it increases the probabilities of a turning point being here and the market pushing away looking for higher prices okay and as you can see that's what happens okay so the the, the trade entry is all uh, you know something we'll go over in the live streams but generally speaking here you can just you know you can market by risk um or you, or you can wait for price to develop a little bit more you know many many there are there are many different ways to enter this market but what we are looking for is this okay the entry is not important we're looking for what price is telling us we're looking for the imbalance we're looking for the high that created the low now if we go a little bit further back what happened on Thursday what happened on Thursday so this is great if you're a scalper if this is uh, what you're looking for we had a, a low form okay we had a low form late on in the session then a new York session price drove higher okay created the high for the day what happened when Friday morning opened high low key daily high low okay price moves straight into it doesn't it Sh straight into the orders takes out the high yeah low that created the high where is the low that created the high does it get broken which creates an imbalance where's the swing it's here isn't it that's the swing okay so there is the low, excuse me, it's just collapsed. There's the low that created the high into a key turning point. 
Does it get broken? Yes, it gets broken. It trades through it, closes candles through it, pulls back. Doesn't matter. The, the, now you have the um, you have the confirmation you need that potentially there's a potential turning point here, and you know targeting lower prices doesn't matter if it goes all the way the idea is to identify turning point okay identify key reversal points within the market we have the imbalance created sellers are stronger than buyers they couldn't hold the market they broke the structure okay and then within that you get the bearish structure okay but the same risk above the high entry on the okay entry on here yes it pulls back but you know there's going to be times where you'll see it come very close the point is once the high or lower set that should hold okay market falls away okay so uh, simple concept what i want you to do now is go on pick your favorite instrument go and identify breaks and structures a key swing highs okay breaks in uh, you want to you want to identify highs that create the lows lows that create the highs creates imbalances at key high lows okay